Hi everybody, you are watching Vitrolias, my name is Alex and today we are gonna focus on arrows um, in Gravity Designer and I will explain you how to create all kind of arrows that are possible in Gravity Designer, all of them we will talk about. So custom arrows, the simple arrows, rotation arrows, all of these arrows, I uh, decided to chunk these uh, three parts and uh, create the definitive arrow tutorial in Gravity Designer. But before I start, guys, I have a great news for you, for those who are starting from ground zero, from the beginnings, because the Gravity Designer user guide is available and I am proud to be part of the team that uh, was created this uh, user guide. I want to thank you for the deeds, for uh, Alexander Biznaka for uh, Christian Grammer and uh, Claudia Drimaya. It's not full yet, but it creates 400 pages of very useful information. It's definitely worth to take a look and uh, start exploring the user guide and filling the gaps in your knowledge of uh, Gravity Designer. Okay, uh, right now I want to focus on the, um, the arrows and want to start with the blank uh, canvas. Uh, Alt N or Option N on your Mac. And I'm working with this uh, website normal size 1280 to 800. You feel free to work on your own. So uh, I'm working with this canvas. And first of all, I want to grab the line tool, click L on your, key, uh, on your keyboard and holding Shift draw a straight line like this i want to boost a little bit the border weight so you just for you to see what is going on with my line now i want to grab the pointer tool keep it selected you see the line uh, has only stroke so we need to or go to the advanced stroke settings as they called uh, these uh, icons uh, opposite to trash icons on the right top right of the border panel gives you a drop down and you need to navigate start arrow and end arrow you see it here so it gives you drop down again with a bunch of options here and i want to start with the plain arrow this arrow control the position with the slider on bottom so the position slider is here and uh, you can move your tip this arrow uh, along the, the line itself you can also work with the outline you can uh, work with the outline, uh, so you need to uh, select this option, outline, to work with the outline. The most important thing that you need to understand for outline that uh, the uh, tip uh, of the arrow is the same as the border weight. So you can increase the thickness by introducing more border weight. Okay, uh, last thing that you can boost the arrow itself so if you want to create a giant arrow no problem with that just play the cursor and type your size uh, a relative size in the percentages or use the up arrow keys or uh, down down arrow key uh, to um, increase and decrease respectively the size of your arrow okay the end arrow the same, you can use the end arrow introducing the uh, arrows in the both uh, sides of your, in the both ends of your line. Uh, the same position, the same outline, everything is the same. Now I want to show you how to create the rotation arrow and uh, you need to grab the circle. So uh, grab the ellipse tool, click E on your keyboard to grab the ellipse tool and uh, i want to create the circle so hold shift hold alt to draw from the center or option on your uh, mark and draw a circle you see that uh, these circles all already contain the arrows i want to delete them this circle first need to be converted into the path so Control shift p or command shift p to convert it to the path you can also use this on the tools panel. So convert to the path or go to the modify path, convert to the path, it's here. Okay, so uh, since once it's a path and you can check uh, whether it's path by switching to the subselect tool. You see now the anchor points are available for me. That means that uh, we are working with the path. While it's selected, I want to go to appearance panel and uncheck this option closed. You see, it's uh, delete one uh, fourth of my path.
fast, delete the whole sector from the circle. And um, now I can apply the arrow, let's say the starting third arrow. And I want to disable the outline. This is how you can create the rotation mark in Gravity Designer. Again, uh, you can also uh, round this tip. Uh, how to do this? Through the advanced drop options, round dance. This is how it works. Uh, okay, this is all for rotation arrow itself. And now let's work with the um, custom arrow. And custom arrow is a little bit uh, different. For example, let's say you want to put the star in your arrow, uh, in your R as your as your uh, tip, create a, an arrow. Let's uh, say you are uh, doing the magic wand or something like this. So this star, this star. First, let's uh, create a new arrow. So I want to. So uh, if you want to apply this star as the tip of your arrow, it's something like this or like this. Then control the size, the position along the uh, line and all of this stuff. You need to first copy this uh, star with Ctrl C, Command C. Then select the line you want to apply the star to. And then go to the advanced stroke option, options and paste right opposite to the drop down. You see it pasted the arrow. Now you can control the position. You can move it along the line and of course the size so you can reduce the size as well. Pretty handy tip guys but it has own uh, limitation and uh, I want to show you how to overcome this limitation. Let's say you want to uh, create some complex arrows uh, that with the hand drawn elements or uh, in my case, I want to just uh, use the triple arrow. So I want to create the first the triangle, um, delete the fill and uh, introduce the border. Again, it boost the border just for you to see what is going on here. Uh, I want to convert it to the path as well. Ctrl Shift P, Command Shift P. Right now it's path. Take a look on my last panel. Uh, now I want to unclose it and select the grab this, this subset tool and select this point and delete it. So I can uh, work with the um, uh, uh, arrow tip. I want to position it on top and uh, make a duplicate, uh, nudge, nudging it down, holding Alt key or uh, option on your Mac. So I created the duplicate and then Ctrl G Command T to repeat this transformation again. Uh, now we have the triple arrow and uh, how to apply it to your line let's uh, let me select a new line again new line boost a little bit the border so you can see what is going on okay so the workflow like ctrl c all of this stuff and then uh, select the line and apply it here doesn't work at all guys uh, it gives you only the bottommost uh, design in this uh, composition. In my comp in my uh, terms, it's uh, the uh, this uh, arrow in the middle. Grouping objects doesn't work either. So don't group the object. Don't even think about this because uh, it wouldn't recognize with the um, with the graphic designer. Let me show you. Edit, copy. I copied the Ctrl C. You see. Now I want to select the arrow and apply this arrow like this, put into the end arrow. Select this, paste. And you see it doesn't recognize uh, any shapes at all. So don't work, it doesn't work with the groups. The only viable option for us to put these passes, we need to combine them into one compound pass. In order to do this, you need to use either, either Ctrl J, Command J shortcut or go to the modify path, uh, join path. It gives you a single compound path. Now you can copy it, Ctrl C, Command C, and now you can apply it as well. So let me show you how it works. 
uh, now you have the triple arrow let me uh, de de decrease the size with the all features available for you from their position uh, to the size uh, here and uh, if you tune them upside down like this uh, and then copy them as well yeah something like very nice uh, design is uh, again it uh, looks decent looks decent uh, so create a compound path by joining the paths this is the viable option if you want to introduce more complex arrow tips uh, in to your borders but pay attention that compound pass itself has its own limitation, especially in working with color, colors, multiple colors. It uh, blends all the colors into the single shape, zero one uh, logic, like either it has the feel at all, it doesn't have it at all. So uh, this um, limitation, you, you, you see that I try to apply these arrow tips into arrow and see the result it's uh, nowhere near uh, to be the same so the custom arrows has their own limitation but again uh, you can so uh, in this tutorial we started from basics and go to the advanced uh, arrow options in graph designer i hope you enjoy this tutorial it covers all kind of arrows in graph designer as always guys don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends give us some up join gray designer tutorials group join gray designer users group uh, go to tutorials.net if you want to see more gray designer tutorials from me and um, uh, guys keep an eye on the user manual it's i think it will be the first source to start the gray designer learning from the ground zero from zero to hero because 400 pages uh, you see that it's very solid uh, foundation of uh, the uh, gravid uh, knowledge available for you for free right now and uh, we will work also on the website uh, version of this so don't worry website version will be available very soon thank you for watching as always enjoy your day